Welcome back to the channel and welcome oh, back yes. to a new video, you absolute golf life legends. And today's video is going to be absolutely magmotional because we are down here at the Brabazon at the Belfry, the back nine, and we are taking on, who are we taking on? We're taking on Villa legend Villa and legend. now media game legend, Mr. Lee Hendry. Yeah, absolutely smashing it. And here he is, Mr. Up, Lee Hendry. Up, hey, How good, are we, mate? Good. good, all good, mate. Very chilly this morning. Oh, it's lovely though, isn't it? Yeah, it's fresh. Up for a load? Yeah, of course. I'm always up for a game. Going to give it a crack? Definitely. We're on the temps every up. Exactly. It's easy, oh, isn't yeah, it? That's why I yeah. look at it. He wasn't that good, was he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your handicap? Seven. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we're going to try it, aren't oh, we? I don't, it's a bit silly. Let's go alternate. Let's go alternate. Let's go alternate. We're going to go alternate shots. Against you. Perfect. Um, so that's it, yeah. really. Yeah. Better get our questions in early because it's over, over by five. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Green time, you're going first, Ange. Go right, here we are. The iconic 10th at the Brabazon. The Seve hole. Biggin has got the driver out. Let's have a little the big sticks coming. The big sticks coming. And an audience. And an audience. Check out the audience. Check, Check out the audience. The biggest, give biggest us golf life audience we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we right, go. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh, 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 no, it's gone oh, straight. Yeah, two that has. <laughs> what? That's OB. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the shot, but it's straight. No, no, no turn whatsoever. Here I we go. I do feel Jimmy, to be fair. <laughs> Jimmy Cliff. Jimmy, Jimmy Cliff. Here he goes. Oh, that was a big chunky swing. Come on. Oh, well, that's right, isn't it? It's gone right. It's over it. It's over there. It's gone. Surely. I felt like if I was going to hit it right, it's going to be safe. Well, it's safe, well, it's isn't it? safe. Lee, thanks again for coming on, mate. Top, Much top appreciate man. it. Top, Absolutely top buzzing man. for this. Yeah, me too. First one out. What? Who got you into golf? And how long have been playing for? Um, do you know what? I, I literally sort of stumbled across it a little bit. My dad, my dad obviously played football. Um, he was a bit of a got played a bit of golf himself with his, his pals and that. So he sort yeah. of. I used to get his sticks out of at the at the garage, take them over. We had a, like a school behind the house. I used to just get his drive around, try and hit through the goals and stuff like that. And then I just sort of got a little bit of a, a bug for it and yeah. never had any lessons or anything. I just sort of picked it up. That, that was the way I, I did it and ended up sort of playing a few rounds and shanking it round every end. Just <laughs> having a bit of fun, really, to be fair. So it's such a buzz, though, isn't it? Oh, nothing better than this. I love it. I, I just not, I, the more I've, the, obviously, the more I've played and the more I've you know, been around people and got more competitive. You, I think you still have that competitive edge. I think yeah, it's just yeah. being a sports person, you know, 100%. a sportsman that you want to, you know, you want to get better at things. And I, just, I, I love the game. I literally do. And I've just got into it a lot more over the last few, few years. Like. Yeah. And what footballers uh, do you play with that are a double decent at goal? Um, none of them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> none Apart of them. From, I went up to Crouch's place and, mate, the, the big man, wow. I seen him first, obviously, Play. He came in, came down, and played it uh, in Birmingham. Yeah. And I was like, he's rascal. He's putting technique. You know that one with his. <laughs> yeah, big, yeah. Like, mate, he I'm actually went. He actually talked us through that. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Ridiculous. So, and he calls himself Linguini Arms. Oh my <laughs> word, mate. It's, but it, it's just a character. Um, I ended up going and playing off with him, and he was, he was unreal. Yeah. You're right. He, isn't he? Yeah. smashed us all. What was he ten? Yeah. He said he was playing off ten. He said he was playing off ten, but not. He doesn't think he was ten. But yeah, no. he was dropping fourteens to me. So really? yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it. Well, yeah. I played with Gareth Barry, and uh, he's getting worse. I think. <laughs> I spoke to him then. He said, "I've been away. I've been in Dubai." He said, "But my golf is horrific." I was like, "Gaz, he just yeah. he when drives like play? an old man." Like to be fair, the old, the old 150 down the middle. Past yeah. Him, yeah. So he's, um, that's the only thing. But and Seth Johnson's one of my pals who just. Just rips courses up left, right, and centre because he takes divots and literally on drives. not, yeah, not on in drive. a good way. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> just rips them up. Yeah, so it's it's, it's uh, them, them are the boys that no one really stands out who's brilliant, really, yeah. to be honest. But it's all about the crack and the band. Totally. Exactly that, right? I put one about forty yards into that tree there. We're going to drop one down there. Pretty sure it's not the rules. I'm not sure if it is the rules. Comment down below. Yeah. But more importantly, Lee said it's fine. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. 
don't comment down below because we know it's not the rules. Well, just <laughs> trying, I thought we're trying to give us an edge. I thought we're dropping it down, not placing it as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's put it on a tee as well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see me play yet. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. You know what? I've been thinking about this all night. I just thought, I don't know what Tuesday's is going to be like at golf. I don't know if he's got a bit. Well, let me show you, Lee. <coughs> Can you get it up and over that tree? That's the question. Give it up. <laughs> but Mickelson it. Right. This is our fourth shot, right? Third well, shot technically fourth. third shot, yeah. Third shot. Oh, oh get it's nice. Needs to go. Needs to go. Oh, we're out the hole. Drink. <laughs> Drink. Hole is finished. <laughs> but we're going to watch Lee play it out anyway. Christ. <laughs> right, this is probably my uh, the worst part of my game, to be honest. Is it? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try a little bit of uh, Mickelson magic if I can. So I'm going to take this moment to apologise to Severiano Ballesteros for, uh, <laughs> for the antics we've just put him through. Yeah. So, yeah. But <laughs> Mr. Hendry here could birdie this. Yeah. Could. 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 But you say this is the weakest part of your game? This is probably my weakest part because I, I always thought I had a nice little bit of touch. Yeah. But not with golf balls, obviously. No. <laughs> uh, with other things, I think it's more like to be. So let's see, see how I end up. Oh, go. 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 go, go. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, 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 if you're bad at, fact, you're bad at that part of the game. Oh, 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 my touch is getting better, mate. You know? Get in there. Oh, 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 no, love that. Little... I don't know if you've seen it, Lee, but on this channel, yeah. if we get birdies... <laughs> Just give it the old little... Yeah, the old bingo wings. <laughs> yeah. I've, got to give it, I've got to give the ball a little clean up first. Got a bit of uh, sand and mud on it. To be honest with you, this is probably the best part of my game as well. Is it? Putting. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed myself already. <laughs> right then. Always told, never leave it short. Come on. That is the start I needed that one. <laughs> We're gonna get spanked. Absolutely spanked. I love you, Sevi. Get that plaque of Henders on there. <laughs>Right, let's get this driving going. Oh, that's absolutely lovely, mate. Shot, mate. What a shot. Yep. Shot, mate. That one back. Flip Love it. Hell. Quite true. Let's see what you got. Open them shoulders. I need a good one here. Come on. Yes. Yes. Is it? It's going to be short with the bunks in it. You've got to be taking that, surely. That'll do you. Yeah. I'd that. Yeah, yeah. all over that. A bit high, wasn't it? A I'm bit of that. It was high. A bit of air time. Our range finder says 171. So. I think I've got the wrong club. I think I've gone seven iron. <laughs> but I'm going to hit it. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Beauty, by here the way, that go. is. Here we go. Too short? Yeah, it might be just short. Oh, short. Great, yeah. short. Ah. Great strike, though. With a six, then. Right, come on, Lee. Get one away. Oh. Turn in. That's the length, isn't it? It's the length. It's just ah, oh, what just a length that is! Didn't I? Good shot, mate. Lee, so we know you got into um, golf, uh, <laughs> but we're down, we're sorry. off camera we've been settled. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it's all about. Yeah. Golf cool. uh, but when did you realise you had a, you know, a special footballing talent? What age? Um, I think. I mean, I, I look back at, at a young age, and I always think when I was sort of, you know, nine, ten, uh, where my dad obviously 
like I said, played football and he would always give me that sort of bit of guidance and stuff. But um, I remember just playing in a side because we'd, we'd moved up from Halifax because we'd moved around with dad playing a lot. Yeah. Um, I had this obviously horrible northern accent, which yeah. was like I used to get bullied for at school and stuff like really? that, which was quite, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, and I was only, I was only really small to be fair, it took me a while to sort of, not Both sprite up yeah. a bit, and, yeah. um, and I, I ended up playing in the side at Chems, uh, called Chemsley Wood and we were getting tonked, uh, so my dad, he moved me to a side called Kingshurst and that's where I played up front, I was small, I was tenacious and I, I just scored loads of goals. Yeah. Um, and then there was lots of clubs and teams that were scouting me and I just, I, I, I just love football, that's all I wanted to do from six, seven, eight, um, I wanted to play football because uh, I watched him dad and seeing what he did and he inspired me to go and do it but I just knew I had something that was, I don't know, I just, my, my uncle was always one who'd come and watch and, and, and obviously dad would give me that guidance but He'd always be like quite critical of me and, and, and what I could work on. And I just, I thought to myself, do you know what? Listening to people was, was really mm. key for me, um, particularly who played the game. And, and obviously dad being that man, um, you know, I just, I felt that I had something that I could go on. People would always say, oh, he's too, he's too small and stuff like that. But, you know, it didn't phase me. I just thought, you know, I'm going to grow up and I'm yeah. going to I'm gonna get a bit bigger as, it, as I go on. But it didn't stop me from laying a few challenges down, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so, and that's, that was, I think that was one thing that, you know, sort of give me that edge. I, I, I'd always work hard and my dad was always keen on me getting fit, my fitness levels. Cause you literally um, didn't stop, oh, did you? Yeah. You were like, bang, yeah. bang, 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 Go, 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 yeah, go, well, go, that, yeah. And that, I think that, that was, that was a massive, a, a massive part to me. I think, you know, being fit and, and making sure I was in, you know, the top, top sort of category of the runners and stuff yeah. like that. Going back to training, you know, pre-season, I'd always work hard, but, you know, I always felt like I had something sort of 10, 11, and that's when, when clubs started uh, sort of sniffing around and trying to get me to go on trial. Well, you chose Villa, uh, obviously, uh, your boyhood club. What was it like making your debut and going through the, the system? Do you know, I, I, I loved every single minute of it because, you know, I, there was lads that, you know, I got, I got really close friends with coming through sort of the system and seeing some characters, seeing likes of big run as a manager you know it, it was yeah. I, I come I come through that era where it, you know we were slowly starting to change and I, it was just it was just something that you know you could I could only wrap up and and sort of save it for myself until you've actually done it it was brilliant because I just love being around the lads I love the banter but when it comes to being serious you know my training was on, on it on it I wanted to be the best in training I wanted to be the fittest in training I just want, I wanted to be the best um, and I pushed myself to levels of, of doing that. I'd all stay out and do extra training um, and I thought it paid off for me. You know, I, I was fortunate to get through little sort of back doors at times to, to big Ron was massive for me because as a kid, he'd, he'd, always, he'd always bring me over with the first team yeah. and I was only, you know, YT and mm. he was brilliant. He just used to say, get this kid on a Friday, you know, before their Saturday match and wow. the gaffer would have like, he'd have Wembley set up at Body Reef. Yeah. And he'd, be, he'd, think he, oh, he'd think he was Del Piero. You can imagine Big Ron, yeah, 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 yeah. the bigger <laughs> nerd, he can't be. <laughs> but he, uh, you know, I always say Big Ron was a, it was a big push and he, he spoke highly of me, you know, not just at the football club, but around to other people, so. Love that. Love that. Cool, man. Right. Great, that. Well, I've had a little uh, briefing, me and the big boy, and we've decided seven iron. This needs to go close because we've just seen Lee putt and Lee can putt. Settle. Oh, I'm liking Settle. that. Settle. Settle. Ooh. I'm liking that. Yes. Yes. I'm liking it. I'll get the putter out now then. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go back to backs, can I? Surely not. Or can I? If I do. Right then. See what you've got in this. This is for back to back. Back birdies. to back <laughs> birdies. Oh, look at the roll. That's what a oh, line. Oh, it goes as well. Wowza. What a line. Right on the line. It was on the money as well. I wanted to there was no view on the ground. <laughs> you me with that. Come on, big one. We need this. We can't go two down. Come on, big dog. We I need this. this. We you are guys. up against it here. Just take the uh, due into consideration. Yeah. <laughs> we are up against the player here. 
big and downhill big right and edge. And come on. You've got this. Come on. You've got this. Oh, yeah. big man. <laughs> Oh, come on! A bit of a pressure Needed that. Well, we played needed that. On to the next. Come on. Go on, Lee. Talk us through the hole, matey. Yeah, well, a little path. Well, I say little path three. I'm going to be in. I'll probably. Well, I've got a five iron here. I'm just thinking, with being wet, I might just uh, try and attack it. Pins at the back. Yeah. If we're 186 here. Yeah. Oh, how, how far is those, that 4T <laughs> back from the Ryder Cup? 438. 230? <laughs> gotta be. It's gotta be massive. Gotta be. I'm eating driver from back there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I've still got to walk it. <laughs> yeah. And I've got to say, sorry before you hit the shot, there seems to be a ball on the green. I, I, I don't know why. I was going to take that if you didn't say anything. No, no but I was wanting to say, so anyone goes, oh, they've put a ball up there. No, we haven't hit a shot. Um, there seems what to a be shot a, that would have been. Yeah, though. we would have taken it. Yeah, well, I'm going to use that as a guideline <laughs> to try and get inside that, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. <laughs> not, Come not, on, not. mate. Right. Oh. 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 Get out there. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it's just on the edge. Yeah, it's all right. land. Oh, I see it, man. Oh. This is our chance. I've opened the door. We're not going to get open. many chances here. The back door's open. We're not going to get many chances here. Come on. Oh, no. 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 I've joined Lee. No. Me. Is it long enough? Oh, oh, oh. half the tree's fallen off. <laughs> yeah. I think I see a drop. Oh, Lee, um, we filmed with uh, Ridgey, Lee and Ridgewell. Oh, yeah. A few months back. Well, it's probably a bit longer now, bro, wasn't it? Yeah, a, year. It was a while back. Uh, and he was singing your praises in the dressing room, said how much of a giggle, giggle you were in there. But who's the sort of, who's the biggest joker that, that you play with in the dressing room? And yeah, the, big, the biggest crack. Yeah, do you know what? I, I, I always, I always like thought to myself, because I was at Villa for so long, yeah. it was like, I was one of them little, characters all messing about and stuff like that but seeing players come and go like Merce was always a funny guy in the changing room but he was quite subtle with it he'd, he'd do stupid things Merce would um go on. Where, <laughs> <laughs> I, I always remember like, like John Gregory coming into the changing room once and uh he, just you know really schoolboy stuff yeah and like he, he, he'd come home and he was having a, he was having a go at me sort of about something about the game and that and Merce was stood behind him going <laughs> and, and I'm like, you know, when you want to laugh so much, yeah. someone's like, the old yeah, tail he could never like do that to me. Yeah. And he'd do it like in a, in a cup. The safe was out on the training pitch. He'd always do it. He'd be, he'd be stood there, but he'd be going, never do that to me. <laughs> like, and, you, and I just, you know, when you want to laugh so much. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Merce was always a character, and I always remember sort of Dean Saunders and Dale and Atkinson. Right. Ah, oh, it was just because we had to knock the door to go in the changing rooms back then. It was, you know, the, the era changed and stuff. I always wanted to go in that changing room and yeah, it was yeah. something that, yeah. you know, as a young boy, you just think, oh, I'd love to be in there. It's just, it's yeah. just carnage mm. every day. It was. Yeah. Um, so, you know, player wise, you know, I always relate back to them who, who are quite fun. Steve Harrison, the coach, yeah, yeah. mate, never a day that he wasn't tying his laces together and coming yeah. out, running, running out to training. On form. And like, football, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. tripping over himself, mate, honestly. So I, I, it was hard to really, sort of single anyone out, but yeah. there, was, there was, you know, there was a few characters, and we had a good crew, we liked the, like, like say, uh, J. Lloyd Crouchy, Stefan Postman, myself and Gareth, we, we sort of run the changing room, really. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned Peter Crouch there. You, Peter Crouch, spoof. <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look at my ball, you two crack on. <laughs> oh, mate, when, when Crouchy came to Villa, it was like, he just brought spoof to the table and it was like, what well, you know, what's spoof? What's it all about? And well, every time we, we used to go to San Carlo of a sort of Wednesday or Tuesday, if we had the Wednesday off, and we'd, we used to call it the calf. Yeah. And spoof come around anywhere we went. So it'd be like, right, spoof for the bill. So we, we've had a few bottles of wine, yeah. a few beers and meals and stuff. And I'm like, what's spoof, man? And then we did spoof. The main one that stood out for me was when we was, was in London and I had to, 
I had to, I, I actually lost, but the thing was, Crouchy would always lose spoof. Yeah. He'd call it up, but he'd always lose. And this time I'm thinking, oh, it's me and Crouchy in the final. What I end up losing, I'm having to walk around on all fours, like barking like a dog. And I'm like, I had to give it the old one. And I'm thinking, what on earth? This is in the middle of a hotel. This is in the middle of a hotel. During the middle of the day. M morning time, coming into lunchtime. So people are coming in for lunch. We're absolutely steaming from the night before because we've ended up kicking on. And it's like, and then next week I'm getting phone calls off Graham Taylor saying, you better get yourself home. Someone spotted you. There's a, news a newspaper reporter in the restaurant. I'm like, what? I've had about seven missed calls. I'm thinking, oh, my missus is trying to contact me. It was a gaffer, I had yeah. a voicemail. I was like, I couldn't believe it. So that spoof ended from that, from that day onwards because I got two week fine. <laughs> Them boys got away with it. What, so they got away scot free? Yeah, yeah, but I just want to see Crouchy. You can imagine him the big, imagine bigger. Crouchy <laughs> doing the dog. <laughs> His leg would be over there by exactly, the other side of the room. Exactly. <laughs> But it was good. It was good banter. Like yeah. he bought. I, I, I love things like that. And you know, yeah. I think there's a time and a place. But that time and a place certainly. Uh, yeah. I wish I could turn back the clock. Didn't do your career. Much. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Go on, the spoof. I oh, know. Yeah, spoof. <laughs> right, fifty-six. Got to get under it. Flip it up. I like nice. that. Mate, I'm liking it. Yes, oh, bro. come right, on, mate. come on. This one for me. Woo! Go on, Lee. This is the worst thing as well. I've got water right in front of me, which is I said about my chipping. Oh, oh! That's what I said about my chipping. Oh, need this in for a salvage. I'd have one of this as my shots all day. Decent, decent. Oh, lovely. Got, got the length, just ain't got the, uh, the old turn, have I? This is for the win. This is for the win, yeah. Oh, it's be driftwood. <laughs> Lucky pal. You can have that. Uh, Lee Hendry, one on up. To next, on to the next. All right then. Big stick. Yeah. Big dog. Filtered out a bit, so I can get away with that. That would sit nice there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, bounce. sit. Yeah, it's in okay. that little, little flip over. Oh, oh exactly. yeah, he's followed me exactly again. The same, same place. Shot. Couple of birds over there. Is that why you're going over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm doing it again. I'm leaking it. Leak, leaks, Phil. Hi, Lee. Who is the? Uh, I think, we've, I think we've touched on the best, but uh, who's the best and worst manager uh, you've worked under? Um, it, a worst manager was, um, well, do I have to go there? Um, Kevin Blackwell was when I went to Sheffield United, leaving yeah. Villa. It was it was difficult me leaving leaving the club initially, but uh, Brian Robson signed me there, yeah, um, and then he was gone within months, so it killed me a little bit because that Robbo sort of gave me a a pep talk and he had kiddo with him and it was I felt that there was something special going to happen they'd just been relegated and then he went and Blackwell came in and mate oh, I just I, I just can't get my head around I just felt that he couldn't manage big players if you like I didn't not saying I'm a massive player but I suppose at the football club at the yeah. time there's me Keith Gillespie David Cottrell Speedo was there um, and he just he just wasn't yeah. having us he wasn't having us and it was like it was almost like he was making a beeline, I felt. Yeah. Um, which was, was disappointing because I wanted to prove a point to the Sheffield fans. They felt that, I felt that they thought I was just going there for a, a paycheck, you yeah. know what I mean? Because I went on a free and whatnot. And it wasn't because I'm, I've never been like that. No. I wanted to play football. Uh, I did pick up injuries, but 
just the one time I came back from injury and I got fit as anything and he was singing my praise and then we went up to QPR and I wasn't even on the bench and I was like, he's got a, I felt like he had a personal vendetta against me. Mm. So I just got in a taxi, come out of, got, yeah. come out of the ground. Really? Just yeah, got that? a black cab back to Birmingham and I just said, I ain't having this sort of thing. Oh. Uh, got a fine, another fine. <laughs> <I'm on demand. laughs> you did enjoy a fine um, in your career, yeah, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I ended up with no dough. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it, 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 that was one of the, uh, the managers that always stands out for me, and, and John Gregory was by far one of the best ones that I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd been under because he was just such a great character. And he came in from working with me with the reserves, and he was just threw me straight in the side. So I've got to give him a lot of a lot of credit for for throwing me in at, at such a young age. So, but yes, managers, I just I would have loved to have played under Big Ron. Yeah, just because I, I, as I touched on, he, he was such a big character, and he, you know I knew he had a lot of love for me. Yeah. So, um, but yes, Kevin Blackwell, mate. Kevin that's Blackwell. The worst one. Didn't, you, didn't you used to have a rock, uh, didn't you have a rock with Howard Wilkinson as well? Yeah, yeah. And he, he, <laughs> you don't you know, what? Why are you picking on Howard Wilkinson? He's I was a bit. He come and picked on me. <laughs> the, the thing was, he, he, we, we, to be fair, it was it wasn't good because we've been on on the under under twenty one trip. Yeah. Me, Matt Janssen, and we got we, we went out on a boozy one. Yeah. It, like there wasn't a game, obviously the, the day after, but it was just borders in Slovakia. There was nothing around. And we found this booze out. It had like Cadillacs in, in this booze out. And we yeah. sat in it. Who, who sits in there with your full England tracks in it? Full white, red, white and blue tracks yeah, in track it. And I were like, oh dear. But Yanni got, he was sick and told the doctor that he was like, um, I felt really sick. And he went, doctor said, you've been drinking? He went, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we told Howard. So I got the blame for it again. Because I was a more experienced one. He got me in the changing room and said, you better perform today. Because he, oh, he's, he's, he's got you by the throat. Yeah, he got me. Oh, I don't know how I didn't lose my... Literally, I was. Neck. I was. So he was. Um, yeah, he, he grabbed me up the neck, and then I never really got on with Howard anyway because I thought it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's these balls? Right, we've got one four nine. Uh, I've gone for an eight just to try and get it over those trees. So I don't think seven would work. Come on. Oh, it's nice. That'll do ya. Get up. You want to dance? You're dancing anyway. Yeah! Dancing. He's dancing. That's a worldie, that is, you by the way. He's a great club. <laughs> <laughs> He's dancing. What, what a club choice. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Hendry. Look at the little fade on it Mr. as well. Mr. Right? Hendry. <laughs> oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. Oh, work, cut out. <laughs> I, I've got no rhythm to even drop some moves. <laughs> Lee, we touched earlier about who's the biggest banter in the dressing room. Talk to me about some rucks. What's the biggest, what's the biggest tear up you've seen in the training room? Um, or, or around the training ground or, or whatever. It. Yeah. Um, well, the biggest rock I've seen which was obviously massive, wasn't it? Remember the Newcastle Villa game? Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember the Kieran yeah, Dyer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never, obviously, I've been around the 21s with, with Kieran and Bo. Yeah. Um, and when I seen that happening, I was like, What's and I just seen on? what is going on here. I still don't know exactly what happened with that situation, even though I, I see Bo, I'll never even ask him, but yeah. um, that, was, that was one always stands out for me in, in the game, obviously, which, that game was just outrageous. Yeah. Um, there was all sorts going on. Well, you it? just uh, literally stood there, just going like, "Oh yeah, what, 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 what is going are on?" They pals, or are they not? I or stood what? over, and then, and then I just seen Gareth like grabbing hold of him, trying to spit, and then I thought, "They go over and try and sort this yeah. out." <laughs> Gareth, um, you alright, son? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> I'm over it. Yeah. And um, GB sorted it out, and yeah. then, um, but I had, a, I had a big rut with Paddy Kenny. Really? Oh, massive when I went to Chef U because he was a big voice in the change room. I can imagine. Yeah. But a great lad as well. Oh, I love And Paddy to be fair, we've come, we've become really good friends yeah. since. But um, he, he blamed me for, he blamed me for not picking up on a corner. Yeah. So that, ooh, that, oh, was, hey. the, that was the uh, that was the last thing I I was I was I was gonna have off Paddy. So we literally come to blows, and then, this was at half time. And then to be fair, to Paddy, just he came up to me. He came up to me after and. Yeah. You know, I love it. You know, yeah. that's the way we passion, work, and passion. that's the passion we want to win. 
Um, and we've been pals ever since, to be fair. Uh, was that in the change room at half In the change room at, room at Chef, yeah, Chef. I mean, any I any mean, other players get involved? Just leave yeah, they, they split us oh, up. Really? It was like, right, yeah, it was yeah. massive. So we got a good reaction. Uh, but we didn't win the did game. Did you win? No, no you lost. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I conceded four. Yeah, you let one in, did it? <laughs> sure, four, Paddy. Me, four goals. <laughs> <laughs> All down to you, Paddy. Yeah. Cheers, Paddy. <laughs> oh, oh. What a putt. Oh, it just oh. turns away, doesn't it? Your putting is decent, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's Honestly, all, yeah, it's... I have to put this in the freezer after time, <laughs> yeah. just to cool it down, usually. Is that all right? Are you making yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it away, good. mate, yeah. Get it back to nil-nil. Left to right. Give me the line. I've, yeah, I've seen these. And walk it in. And walk, walk it in. And walk, walk it in. And walk, walk in. Oh. 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 Decent putt, though. <laughs> Oh, got to be taking that. Wasn't. Got to be taking that. Well done. Yeah. Mr. Lee Hendry still one up, Can't but we are putting up a fight. Yeah. Right, lovely little par three. Yeah. Got to try and hit the green, that's what it's all about. It is what it's all about. That's why I struggle. That's Long par threes. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely sensational. Oh, 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 oh. Nice no oh, pressure nice there, no nice pressure. Smooth. That was sounded absolutely magnificent. Let's not, let's not try and play his game. We're not good <laughs> enough for that. Let's no. play your own game. Oh, what you a got shot, a four on tubes, right? I, I've got four. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually crossed my mind. I think I need it. <laughs> I'm only joking. No, I, I, I'm not. <coughs> I'm not joking. Right, here we go. Oh, oh. God. Fatima. <laughs> Fatima Whitbread. Fat <laughs> <laughs> boy Slim. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Lip up fatty. Lee, luckily enough, and what an honour it was to uh, nick a little cap for England. Yes. Yeah, worthy well, that. <laughs> talk, talk to me about everything, the day, what it meant to you, obviously, goes without saying, meant um, um, you know, massive things, but just talk to me about it. Yeah, I, I, do you know, obviously my dad's Scottish, just, uh, and I, I could have played for Scotland, yeah. which was a, was a massive thing for me to, to make that decision, but just getting the the gaffer called me in the office saying it had been called up. Um, I was just literally, it was the ultimate. It's yeah. what, what, you know, boys uh, dream about and yeah. you know, what you always think about, you know, going to Wembley, putting an England shirt on. It's the ultimate, ultimate for a player. Um, and yeah, just that, that day when I got told, I just I had to pinch myself because it was, you know, it was, it's the best feeling ever. I shot on the phone to my mom and dad and got called up. There was hints of me, you know, that I was doing well and that I could have possibly yeah. got the call off. Um, and yeah, I just, there was m myself at the time, Dion, Merce, uh, little Alan Wright got a call up. Yeah, so yeah. it was good that made me feel a little bit at ease because no, <laughs> no disrespect to them, but I'm walking into a change room with like Bex and Skulls in yeah. and I'm thinking, oh my word, the yeah, pressure players. massively on. Um, but yeah, it was brilliant. It was literally the day turning up uh, I've got some pictures of me in like triple XL jumpers. I was obviously skinny, <laughs> like, I looked like a rat in the. <laughs> a drowned uh, rat. Yeah, did, uh, which was, was quite funny. But it, it was just, you know, brilliant to be around some really big characters. And, and obviously, Glenn selecting me for the, for the full squad was it. Yeah. That was, a, that was another sort of big thing for me because Glenn and, and John Gorman were, you know, were brilliant, brilliant with me. Um, and then the day just seemed to fly by when you know got to the game. I came off the bench, and it was just like surreal, just standing on the sides, thinking, "All my family's here. Um, you know, the game's live on the box, and I've got yeah. an England shirt on." Yeah, that's which was just like, um, and to come on that left-hand side, where I, I just, you know, what, I just relished the fact of, of going on there, and mm. I wanted to, I wanted to score. I, I wanted to, wanted to make a name for myself. Yeah. And that was just the way I was, um, and I should have scored. Yeah, I'd, I'd have got faced. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but given the old little chop, 
if I'd have gone on the right, I probably would have scored, what but I got gone? on the swinger during yeah. the spring straight yeah. past the post. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, she hit the target and I score. Um, but I got big rave reviews from it, which was, was brilliant. And like I said, you know, Big Dion was there as well. Uh, I didn't mention him, he was in the squad. And, you know, having them people around mm. me, my play, the players who I played with, yeah, with it yeah. really did help me. Because I felt if I'd have gone into a changing room yeah. with that, Stature, a bit of like, yeah. being like, yeah. whoa, what am I? What, Were I'm they nice the to you though? Were they like well, brilliant? Yeah. Like Bex, everyone, uh, Wright, he was there as well. Yeah, yeah. And Ian Wright, and he was he was class. Um, there was just honestly that changing room for seeing these big players playing against them, and then going into a changing room. It was like we was all pals, which you know made me feel well, made me feel like I was I was a special player, which you know. I probably didn't believe that I was as good as playing for England. Well, yeah. So, but one cap, and I know it's like a, a massive honour, but I just wish I'd have got a hell of a lot more. A few to be more. One cap more than most, though, pal. One cap wonders, though, mate. Yeah. That's the thing. Mate, one cap no. better than no camp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got any. No. All right, sorry, bruv. That's all right, mate. Absolutely. No, it's fine. you up. Fine. Just get it in. Just got a 56. Just put it in. I'm gonna get it. I'm aiming in between Lee's ball and the flag. Just put it in. Or just put it in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a quick buggy. Someone, someone just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's late for the first tee. <laughs> Go right, on. Come just, on. Just put it in. Oh, just oh, it's nice put it and in. long. Nice, nice. It's good shot, brother. And you've you catered for going up the hill, yeah? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where, it's, that's where it is. It's strongest. Right, right, come on, bro. This needs to drop, doesn't it? I've got the putter out, but I'm hoping not to use it. I fancy you. To the left. Go, go. Come on, go. round. Come round. Oh, oh it's not moved. Turned. I thought it was coming round. Take that away. In for four. This is going in. <laughs> Finish part one in for with four, a birdie yeah. dance. Started with a birdie dance, finished with a Two birdie birdies dance. birdies in part one. Yeah. Has that ever happened? Probably not. No. I do you want to, I do, I'm going to have a go at it. Yeah. I'm going to lie. Do 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 do